Hello, I'm Rhys. And I'm not Rhys. Damn straight you're not. <laughs> and this is Smoke News. Kicking off with the professional network LinkedIn, it has just published a university's ranking based on career outcomes for 313 million members worldwide and selected the University of Westminster as one of the best institutions for launching graduates into top jobs in media and marketing. We've been ranked as the 14th best university in the UK for students getting jobs in top media companies and 16th for marketing jobs. Now, University of Westminster student Ross Buchanan has won the chance to present The Selector, a weekly radio programme and international showcase for the best new music the UK has to offer, which broadcasts in over 40 countries around the world. As part of his prize, Ross will attend a very special two-day production and presenting training session in November alongside five other student finalists. Each student will also be challenged to put on a special live selector event at the university featuring a performance from a new UK artist. Sunday Times has already called it the most cutting-edge music show coming out of Britain. Becca Ireland got chatting with Ross. Let's check it out. Hi, we're here with Ross Buchanan, who's won the chance to present the SRA Selector for our university. So Ross, what's this about? Uh, the SRA Selector is basically uh, the chance for six students across the UK to present their version of The Selector, which is a programme about British music that broadcasts to the whole world. I'm really excited. I, I guess it's, it's, it's a really exciting opportunity for me because I never really... Um, I never really wanted to present before. It was always kind of the back of my mind that I wanted to be a presenter. Um, but now I've give, been given the opportunity to, um, you know, be given great feedback on my presenting and uh, and broadcast some some great content. The Sunday Times has called it the hottest, most cutting edge radio show. Uh, so how do you feel about that? Yeah, it's definitely a cutting edge radio show. Sam Hall, um, the presenter, uh, goes by the alias Goldie Rocks. She gets to travel um, to the likes of Kenya, Australia, and just broadcast British music, which I'm really passionate about. So what about you as like an inspiration to people that are just on student radio? Um, I wouldn't say I was um, an inspiration as such, but um, if, if you're like, uh, you know, studying radio in first year or, or you want to get involved with Smoke Radio, then definitely do it because the opportunities that, that can come from it, you know, you never, like Greg James, he, all he did, like he studied drama, but um, through UEA uh, Livewire, he managed to, you know, become a, a national star. So this is Ross Buchanan, uh, back to you guys. Now, the NHS could charge international students to use the health services from as soon as next year, an investigation by Cardiff Student Paper has revealed. The health surcharge of £150 a year will be introduced as part of changes the government are making to student visas in an effort to avoid health tourism. Those already studying in the UK will not be affected, but new students will have to pay as part of their visa application process. Now moving on to the world of money, research conducted by the foundation found that payday loan companies provide up to 62% of all commercial financial support taken out by students. The study also found that just 8% of students were in debt due to overdrafts and credit card use. Steve Norman, Assistant Director at the University of Edinburgh Career Service, told the student, if a payday loan seems necessary, we'd recommend talking to people who offer practical, impartial help and advice with financial management, e.g. the advice place or cab as there may be alternative options available. So we went out and asked students ourselves about whether they would take day loans. Here's what we found out. Hi, I'm George and we're here today at the Marlebone campus to find out what students think about payday loans. We've found out that a lot of students lately have been using payday loans or short-term loans. Um, do you think this is a good idea? I think, depending on your circumstances, but I'm morely going towards no just because of the fact that we've already taken out loans anyway. I don't think it's a good idea for students to take out those loans because they're already going to be in debt with student loans. If it's got a high interest rate, trying to pay that off would just be too much for a student. The students run a sort of money right now, so that's the only way they can get. Otherwise, like, um, it's really, really hard for them. So you wouldn't consider one, taking one out yourself unless you really had to? Unless you're like a really extreme circumstance, but I think everybody should, depending on your, like I said, depending on your circumstances, but everybody should manage pretty well. But hey, with students, some people can't manage finances really well. <laughs> so, yeah. so most students at Marlebone think it's a bad idea to take out payday loans and would only do it as a last resort. Back to you guys. And now, shock horror, a new story about the sun. Ooh, page three, boobs? No. Oh. Carry on. The UWSU, amongst others, has received warnings from SUs across the country about the Sun contacting student newspapers in order to get controversial fancy dress pictures. Some of these pictures include students dressed as Ebola victims or even Islamic State supporters during Halloween. It appears that the Sun is aiming to run the feature which paints such behaviour from students as common. 
Talking about clothes, Alina is in Regent Street with fashion. Hi everyone, it's Indian summer outside and we are here as usual on our weekly fashion adventure. A bit about fashion geography. It's 12 miles distance from here, Regent's campus to Harrow, but how far from each other students taste in fashion? Let's go and find out. Uh, do you think that Regent's campus got its own unique fashion style? Um, yeah, well, it's quite fun. Like the style is very different. There are a lot of different people here. Every um, individual from a different country has got their own um, fashion style. I don't think it has a specific style at all because there's so many different types of people from different types of countries. Very international, right? Yeah, so international. I've seen a lot of very distinctive styles here and I've seen the girls be quite daring as well. Uh, it wasn't really too much thought into it, to be honest with you, but I just didn't want to I didn't want to walk here, so I brought my board. Okay, so you have your own transportation. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice way to get around. It's better than walking. I know when when I progress through the years, I'll probably have to start dressing more smarter to yeah, get into yeah. the business sure. environment. But for now, I'm just, you know, getting used to the uni. I'm an H&M girl, so mm. I love to buy at H&M. H&M. Well, yeah, it's very practical and at the same time it looks so cool, right? Yeah, that's true and it's really close to here. Yeah, I'm my own designer, I guess okay. you could say. Well, that's fair enough. I have to say, I've never been one for specific designers. I just take inspiration from what I see around me. A lot of music artists okay. um, inspire my dress. For example, um, ASAP Rocky and hmm. uh, Kendrick Lamar. Today we spoke to the students in Regents Campus. Most of them are international. Unlike in Harrow, they, they are not really keen about fashion designers. They study in the heart of London, they got a lot of things to do, and they are more casual in their outfits. Don't forget to check our Smoke News, and we see you next week in Cavendish Campus. Bye-bye. Now get your diaries out, because it's events time. The Verse event is for those of you looking for a career where your foreign language skills can be used to your advantage. The event is being run on Wednesday the 26th of November, 2 till 4 p.m. in 5E Hall, Regent Street. Network with employers who will be sharing their experiences from a variety of sectors, including government, business, recruitment, education, charities and sports. The event is open to all students in the Department of Modern Languages and Cultures from all year groups. The evening will consist of an employer panel presentation, followed by informal networking over refreshments. Nom, 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 nom. Book your place online here. Point to link below. No, that's the direction. Oh, it's gone now. Why does everything I love leave me? Let's, let's not do this. Want to earn a quick buck? Well, the university has published a travel survey with the aim of developing a new travel strategy to support and encourage sustainable travel to each of our sites. The travel survey has been designed to help monitor and report back on the new plan. It'll take you about 10 minutes. To enter the prize draw for £25 worth of high street vouchers, make sure to provide your email address at the end of the survey. There will be two winners. And just a quick mention to Madfest Open Forum, Wednesday the 21st of January, 12 to 6 p.m. Open Forum is a collection of creative experiments showcasing and network opportunities. There will be various spaces available for you to create your own mini environment or showcase your own creative endeavours. You can get involved by either holding a pitched event, just email your idea, requirements and budget of up to 100 quid to madfest at su.westminster.ac.uk by the end of Friday the 21st November, max one side of A4 please. Alternatively, if you want to run a spontaneous happening, then you can turn up on the day and will be allocated a spot on a first come first serve basis. If you have any questions, contact the previously mentioned email. Now, for you gamers out there, look at me with your pasty faces. Toonami, the makers of games such as Silent Hill, Castlevania, and Metal Gear Solid, have announced that they will launch a university league for pro evolution soccer, <coughs> FIFA, which will be letting student gamers around the country put their ball skills against each other for the chance to win bragging rights, amongst other things. <laughs> what? <laughs> you said balls. For more information on the league and how to get involved, check out the link below. In news that will make the weekend breaks for the US much more accessible for the relatively cash strapped amongst us, our favourite airline, Wow Air, has launched flights to Washington DC and Boston for just 99 quid one way. Wow! Yeah, I know. It's Wow Air. Oh. Uh, seats are available now to book, but the first flights will depart in March next year, so you might have to wait a bit. Well, thank you for listening. This has been Smoking News. I have been Reese. I'm having an identity crisis. Okay, bye. What is my life? Uh.